And there's a lot, lot of rain around. Yes, we've had some very heavy showers this morning, mainly across parts of southwest England. This is our radar picture from earlier on. Some places seeing an awful lot of rain falling in a very short space of time. It is steadily pushing its way north and eastwards, but we'll continue with the theme of those showers as we go through the afternoon. A typical summer's day, some of you may say. We never quite know what the weather's going to throw at us. And in fact, on this day in 2003, we had our highest ever recorded temperature, 38.5 degrees at Faversham in Kent. If we go back just to last year, the remains of what was Hurricane Bertha rattling across the UK, bringing Lossiemouth in eastern Scotland nearly double its normal, normal August rainfall. Lossiemouth, however, last night had clear skies. We had a picture sent in this morning of the northern lights and the Perseoid meteor, sho meteor shower. Now, the meteor shower is really reaching its peak over the next couple of days, so worth getting out, seeing if you can have a glimpse through the night. We've got dark skies, clear skies with high pressure building in, so it really is going to be a great couple of nights for viewing. Out there at the moment, not a great deal of sunshine around. I think we will steadily start to brighten up across parts of Wales and the southwest of England as those showers continue to push east. Moving a little bit further north across Scotland, we could still see some further heavy downpours here. A bit of sunshine mixed in between temperatures around 17 to 18 degrees if we do finish the day with some sunshine. Scattered showers across Northern Ireland, again, potentially a few on the heavy side. You can see how they're moving towards Yorkshire, stretching down across Lincolnshire, the East Midlands and into South. East England. Temperatures just about getting to around 19 to 20 degrees. But this evening, overnight tonight, it's a process of drying up. The showers will clear eastwards, taking a little while longer to clear away from northern Scotland, but most places are going to be dry underneath those clear skies, perhaps a little bit of mist and fog forming for the early hours with temperatures starting tomorrow at 12 to 14 degrees. And already you can see an improvement tomorrow, not as many showers around. A lot of places dry and fine with some sunshine. There will be some areas of thicker cloud, perhaps to the northwest we could see some light, well scattered showers. And again through Wales and central parts of England, the small chance of a shower. But a predominantly dry afternoon with some bright or sunny spells. Highs across Scotland and Northern Ireland, 16, 17 degrees. It will get warmer to England and Wales. So here's the high pressure just about holding on through the middle part of the week. But there is low pressure building to the south, swirling around across the Bay of Biscay. And potentially that may just throw up a little bit more cloud across those southern counties of England, increasing the risk of some heavy showers. And so here we're looking at temperatures around 20 to 22 degrees, picking up an easterly wind as well, making it feel cooler along those east coasts. Further north with the high pressure still remaining, it should stay fine, dry and bright with temperatures in the high teens. So still more showers to come through the rest of this afternoon, but then most places are going to be a little bit drier and brighter. Rita. Thank you, Nina. Now remind